Hi Aquarius, so I'm here to do your weekly read. I am going to go ahead and just do kind of a simple read for this week. I feel like there's a lot of stuff kind of moving around in the atmosphere, so maybe it's good to just kind of keep it super simple. Okay, well these want it to be out. Okay, so there may be a sign or a message that you are receiving this week. Um, I'm saying, uh, sorry, my fingers are covered in ink because I don't know if you guys have ever had a pen explode on you, but it's like never-ending ink. Anyway, um, yeah, I feel like there's going to be some kind of omen or something, some kind of signal to you that something is about something that's going to be arriving, like a message that's on its way. And it's somewhat of a gift. It's it's a definitely something that you've been looking forward to. I'm just getting the bright red right there with the soft uh, kind of blue background. You're just making me think about um, that shock factor, I guess you could say. Uh, and it could be something that you it has been buried. I'm also getting from all of this darker something that has not been apparent to the eye. I'm seeing eyes right here on the butterfly. Um, I'm going to get one more just to see where this is taking us. You could look at this as um, past, present, and future energy, but I don't think you should. Get some advice going forward, so what can Aquarius do to expedite this or prepare for it or best receive whatever gift it is that is being bestowed. Okay. So don't, I guess don't limit yourself this week. Make sure you're open-minded. Make sure that you're clear on your overall goal, but also the boundaries that you may have uh, available to kind of stretch a little bit. Sometimes when you're stepping outside the box, um, things have to slip a little bit back and forth. Um, maybe for you, this should be out of the box. Um, this, whatever talisman this is, whatever sign this is for you, omen, I guess, you know, try not to overlook. I'm just also seeing these two dots here on the bottom. It looks like, um, it almost looks like a mask, like a, I don't know. I'm just seeing a lot of things on this card. I'm saying that you may need to look beyond the cover of something to find the gift underneath something, potentially underneath some boundary that you did not necessarily notice before. So although someone may be very attractive, you may notice they have horrible um, people skills or something like that. Or maybe somebody is extraordinarily, um, they've got the a really good resume but when it comes down to it, they've got a bad attitude or something like that. I'm getting from here. Um, just I'm here. I'm just seeing masks and um, paperwork for some reason. This may be coming through to you on paperwork. This may be coming through to you in a small package. But there's really this like something that is going to be gifted to you and it may not you know it may not even appear as a gift that's also another interpretation of this i'm going to use the, actually you know what, let me use the animal deck to clarify just a little bit more please boundaries came out upside down next to all of this so i'm going to go ahead and build on that i'm going to say i'm strongly feeling that you need to just keep an open mind about something oh it doesn't mean don't have any boundaries this week and just go go ham or something like that. But it just means, you know, potentially. Yeah. So, Aquarius, you may be feeling kind of unable to display your skill set. Let's just put it that way. Um, a peacock puts their tail feathers out when they're trying to display a skill set. Maybe don't try to display your skill set so much this week. Just try to watch. I'm seeing that there's something small, a, a small tiny moon that is holding something for you, a little jewel for your ear. Maybe it may be something that you hear. 
a bird song, something some kind of simple, but um, something's going to catch you. If you pay attention, something's going to catch you off guard. Yeah. Yep. The crocodile came out. So you may need to watch out for predators or for people who appear to be on your side but are have a different agenda. Um, I'm just with the mask right here to be quite honest when you're at a masquerade ball it is hard to have a crocodile or an alligator mask just because of the snout but I am also seeing here you know this is a upside down message so maybe someone's not maybe you're not getting the message about some type of some type of interaction that is vibrating at a lower frequency. Not to rag on the crocodile, but I'm just seeing the three different zones, and there's two of them that seem to, you know, are up top, which is correct for the sun and the moon, but down below, it's just really murky water. A lot of algae. And I'm just also looking at his arm, the way that it, he's just laid back, licking, licking his fingers almost. And there's three little birds. Oh, I never noticed that. There's three little birds perched right there, like they're on a power line. Yeah, there, there may be something interfering with the message that's trying to come through for you about a a gift or a um, something that's being offered. Something could be a little murky about this, the translation of this gift. So maybe rather than um, parrots and oh, I think it's the peacocks are like bah, 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 like all the time at the at the zoo. I don't know. I think it is. I think it's the loud one. Okay, animal deities came out for this portion. So animal deities in reverse. So this is divinity, guidance, and wisdom when upright. But because it came out in the reverse, it's like there's maybe a lot of messages trying to come through for you right now, Aquarius, a ton of them, it's like you have not cleared out your voicemail in forever, I mean, I'm guilty of that as well sometimes, but, um, or maybe there's, you need to go through your spam, I'm also just, I'm just hearing what I said about ham earlier, ham and spam, um, there may be something, yeah, there's no monkey in the middle, or there shouldn't be a monkey in the middle. Yeah, I'm just noticing there's those two. There's actually three moons right here, and then a number of moons in this picture. But this one's up, upside down. So is this one, but I'm just trying to say. Um, you may need to get down to business on something. Handle business on something. You may be missing a message that you need to quit monkeying around and respond to some of the requests that are coming through for this gift that you've got. And I am just I'm just seeing that you also need to have a lot of time spent I mean, this is information. No boundary on listening. Mm, like hearing a, a hearing aid, like seeing, um, um, their spectacles and hearing aid all of a sudden, potentially a headache with the red flare. Um, yeah, I'm just really like, you may give yourself a headache thinking too hard, and that can't happen. That happens to me sometimes. But uh, anyway, let me get one more set of clarifiers just to see. Aquarius. Can we get some advice, please, for the Aquarius? I'm j uh backlogged. The word backlogged is coming through. You could be feeling swamped, like you can't move these through fast enough. If this is you, okay. A ton actually fell out, but only those two came out in the in the upright. So 
I'm going to take those and leave there. Okay, so you need to watch out. That's what I was trying to kind of say about whatever energy this is. Whatever monkey business has been going on regarding these gifts, because it's coming through very strongly, there is something, of there's a gift of money, time, um, effort. There's something coming through that's literally, ta I'm literally seeing a tangible gift. Maybe a house, maybe a rather large gift, a house and a car. Um, you might want to watch the Aries reading from last week. Someone was getting married, I believe. Um, this is just a lot of, there's a double gift, like a, there's a double blessing that is just falling in your lap. This is the keys, keys, you know, and there's something about a lot of these, a lot of these messages that you don't have. Yet, both of these gifts are in the upright, which means you know what it is, you're able to identify it, and you'll know how this applies to your life. This could be like um, a child and a new house, or a new job and a new project, or, I mean, this could be like a plethora of things, but there's something, you're missing something, you're missing something about this gift that you could be maximizing on. And it's something that you don't really want to monkey about with. It's a, some type of spiritual message having to do with keeping your head above water. And three little birds telling you some something or not telling you something right now. This is a, not having boundaries with listening or with respect absorbing the information, the boundaries that are being given to you, because I'm just the way I'm seeing it. When there's no deceit involved, when you're just being really honest about things, you can you can see with your eyes, you can hear with your ears, and you can think clearly with one mind. So there's a face right here, and then, you know, there's, her mind is here. There's boundaries, though. Although you do have two hemispheres of your mind, there are boundaries to what each of us are able to achieve or capable of actually manifesting in a certain amount of time, space, energy. So I'm seeing um, the two sides of the head right here. Wow. So it's like one side of her is a bird, and that's the one that she's paying attention to more right now. So she's more, this is the air sign reading too, so that means this makes sense. But then also there's this other side of her that feels fierce, like she needs to put up boundaries. So you may be dis you may be hiding from yourself or from someone else that there is a disparity in the way that you feel and what you're how you're operating at the moment. This little bird is looking back. So out of these three faces, two of them are looking this way, one of them is looking this way. And all eyes are are looking this way as well. So maybe the gen maybe the general focus is going one direction, and you're upset about the past, something in the past, or you're not um, being completely honest about something in the past, where you're, you're putting up boundaries where there was where, where you didn't really feel like you even needed them before. Maybe this is the first time you're detecting deceit. Um, in the reverse, the way that it came out, without boundaries, you don't really listen much to that sound or that little voice in the back of your head that tells you to stop doing something or to look both ways before you cross the street. And it's not, um, I'm not feeling this deceit as being something you need to be alarmed about, but it is something that you have to take self-inventory on because Either way it goes, it's strange that it's showing up with boundaries, like juxtaposing boundaries. So you may need to stop relying on what you're seeing or hearing or like the sensory over the sensory overload to me without any boundaries. Like it's just like maybe there was some type of like situation that kind of just got dropped on your lap like monkey business, and now it's hard to express 
exactly how this took you from maybe feeling like you had something to be proud about to feeling a little scaly or a little beneath, like below the weather. This is a, a fan. This guy, this guy kind of looks sickly all of a sudden where he just looked lazy before. He suddenly looked a little, a little jaundiced or something. Um, either way it goes, there's something deceit, there's some deceit that you need to find in order to kind of decode the rest of whatever message is trying to be sent through from animal deities, spirit guides, um, yeah, what kind of monkey business has been going down, I almost want to name this monkey business Aquarius, so, anyway, that's all I have for you right now, just because, okay, so yeah, might be a little bit of a burden, but you could you can do it. Yep. You can do it. Like I said. And I don't feel like this is a huge big deal. I just think it's a little an unforeseen hiccup. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Some type of secret needs to bubble to the deep to the surface. Cleanse that deceit out. Get that moon out of there. Yep. Unless you just can't. I mean, I don't know. You know, you know how this applies. Anyway, bye, Aquarius. We'll see you next time. Oh, yeah, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, whatever. Some changes are going to come, guys, but not for a second. I just got to take one thing at a time. Uh, all right, anyway, bye.